Gavin Oliver and this is my vlog for the new student dialogue for Library 100 at Clemson University. I'm not having too much luck with this right now, so this is like my fifth time trying to make this a good video, so here's to another good try here. Okay, so I'll be talking about several different topics today. The first being uh, whether or not I think my group achieved true dialogue. To be honest, I don't think we ever did. Um, there were two people in the group who were very outspoken and very good at sharing their opinions and insight. And they, towards the end of the, uh, of the New Student Dialogue, actually did get people involved. But for the majority of the time, people were reserved. People were just going in with the mindset of, let's just, let me just get in here and get this assignment done and get out of here so I can go and lift my other things. But... Yeah, people were just mostly reserved. I mean, the group leaders did an outstanding job of trying to get people involved. They did icebreakers. They did uh, games. They did everything they could think of to try to get the group going. But nobody really was just uh, willing to do much to further the discussion. And, uh, in fact, during one point at the New Student Dialogue, um, uh, they had to tell people to put away their cell phones, and people, for the most part, we were just, people just weren't being respectful, and, and, uh, and I admittedly was one of those reserved people, I'm not gonna lie, but, uh, I'll, but even, but some people were being disrespectful, but some people that were reserved were paying attention, they just weren't furthering the discussion. Um, and that, because of that, I don't think the new student dialogue was a useful tool just for that reason. Just nobody was, for the most part, most people weren't talking out. That's basically why I just don't think uh, the new student dialogue was a useful tool. But I do understand the reason why it was uh, used here. First of all, I think it was, it gave, they gave us a list of topics and it gave us a chance to choose the topic we're most interested in. And I think they gave it to, they assigned this because I think. They were trying to get us prepared for things that we might encounter down the road in our Clemson University experience. And I think every topic on there something is something that somebody here could experience. And another reason I think they assigned this is to get us grouped with people that share the same interests uh, that we do. And to get to know people and to make friends uh, for down the road here and just to kickstart our experience here. That's the reason I think they assigned this topic. <coughs> now I'm just going to go a little bit more in depth on my on what my new student dialogue was about. My new student dialogue was on the privilege of age. There's a lot of things that go into the privilege of age. The majority of the time there we talked about um, when do you think uh, you become an adult. And they went uh, and they talked about drinking age as a factor in that. And I believe that the drinking age should be based upon maturity instead of age, but there's no way that you can measure maturity. Uh, see, a 50-year-old man could be more mature than an 18-year-old, but the 18-year-old is not allowed to drink, but the 50-year-old is. But there's no way to determine maturity, so the drinking age has to stay the way it is. And the uh, New Student Dialogue also touched on when you become an, when like, I think I've already said this, but when you become an adult, they played a game with us and they made us uh, go through a list of countries and the, uh, and we got to see the, when you become an adult at those different countries and it varied great, uh, varied vastly around the, um, around the world, but here, I think you become a man or a woman and are an adult when you're no longer in the care of parents or when you're no longer in the, in the care of a university or a school or the latest form of education you may have taken. Uh, yeah, uh, like, see, people, when your uh, parents are looking out for you, you're not truly on your own. I mean, college is a great gateway to the adult life in that you're learning how to become an adult, but you're still not fully there in my opinion. I think you have to finish that, 
go out into the real world and be able to take care of yourself and raise a family if that's what you want to do, but or at least just take care of yourself. And I think that's when you become an adult. Well, that's it for me. This has been my new student dialogue for Library 100. See ya.